scissors, we're going to be the player. Okay, paper, scissors. So um, user is player one, that's us, and computer is player two. Okay, so when we start, we would just have like score one for player one is equal to zero. We always initialize scores, you know, to zero at the beginning to allocate some space and be able to update it later. Okay, and then player one is going to like select. So player one choice equals input would choose or type rock or paper or scissors and then the computer so player two choice is equal to random dot choice so we need to import random random dot choice okay you could have the array already done or you can put the array here rock paper and scissors. Okay, so I can directly type the array here or not. Just to be safe, I'm going to print player one choice and print player two choice before I continue. And then we can continue with the 13 if else statements. Okay, so I'm going to paper and great so it worked the random dot choice was fine it randomly chose one of those so now the only thing we need to do is we need to make 13 if statements and i'm going to set this game to be 10 rounds okay so i'm going to say for count in range from 0 to 10 they're going to have 10 rounds what they're going to do is they're going to input their choices in the rounds so they don't have to do that here Okay, and one, two, three, four. So 10 times they're going to choose rock or paper or scissors, okay? So the player one types while player two is the computer, they're going to randomly select one of those. Now it comes with the logic. So we have 13 different cases. The first case is if player one choice is equal, equal to player two choice. And in that case, nobody's score is going to change. So we're just going to print um, same same <laughs> tool was chosen. I don't know. Same choice. Okay. And you can even print, like for example, player one like chose so and so and player two chose so and so but it's going to take a lot of space i want to i hope that you guys can finish it now so that's the first one now elif what i there is different ways to do it this is what i did so elif i just did all the player one choices so player one did paper because p in alphabetical order so i could remember and player two choice is equal equal to so if we already got the first one, paper equals paper, we already took care of that here. So now we're gonna do paper and rock, and we're gonna do paper and scissors. So if it's paper and rock, who's gonna win? In this case, player one score. So score one, you can say plus equal one, that increases it, and print, you know, player one got it. Okay. and. Elif, lots of copy pastes now, five of these, and what we're going to change them. So this is paper and rock, and this is going to be paper and scissors. In that case, the player two is going to win, so score two will be increased, and player two won this round. Okay. And then another elif. So we finished paper and paper. So we're going to go for rock and paper. We already have the rock and rock case done. So if it's rock and paper, player two wins. So the score of that wins, score of two. Okay, and then we're gonna do rock and scissors. Elif, rock and scissors.
And in that case, um, Rock would win. So player one, player one. So now we've finished all the cases for player one has paper and player two has rock. So we just have player one is going to be scissors. So player one is scissors and this is paper and player one is scissors. Okay, but this should be score one and player one. one. Mm, scissors and rock. In this case, rock wins, so score two, player two. There's one case that's not correct here. That's one, one, uh, this one, rock and paper. Who wins the paper? So player two scores the case. So now we've finished all the cases for player one. So we can just take these and copy paste these five cases. One, two, three, six cases. Copy paste these six cases. And change the variables, swap them to So this is going to be player two, and that's player one, so the opposite. And in this case, and you just have to swap everything, so and then we're done. This is the player two, player one, and that has to be swapped to player one, one, because they have the system. In that case, player one will win. So we're, we've gotten all the cases, and you can just say else there's an error. And error case. Okay. At the very end, now we've finished the for loop and all the, you know, checking. So we can print play a score one. is the score for player one. And you can also write who won and who didn't. And print score two is the score for player two. So I get to talk rock and I won in that case. When I made the game, and you can do it as well now. You can print exactly what the computer um, chose as well. So you can do that in all the 13 uh, at the top. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 times paper. Player two, one, rock, rock, rock. Paper, 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 scissors, rock. Okay, so we got the same score in this case and it would be a draw. Okay, so. Try it out. I, I want to wait like 15 minutes.